I had a car one time in Rockford, Illinois. It was a Datsun station wagon. Remember Datsuns? Well, that was the worst steel in that body that ever was in any car. I mean literally that car rusted out. It, you could still see the color, but there were rust holes everywhere. But that engine at the core of that car was the best running engine of any car I've ever owned. It literally, I know, is running somewhere today powering something. That engine was so good, the core of that car was so good that it was a delight to drive. Also, in cold Rockford, Illinois, the heater was good too. And even though there were rust holes where the heat was just pouring out, uh, that car was toasty warm on the inside. Well, why do I talk about that? When you go through deep waters, the Bible says, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not be drowned. When you walk through the fires of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord, your God. Isaiah 43, verses 2 and 3. From time to time, all of us face adversity, discouragement, disappointment, but we may never need to face our troubles alone. God has promised to walk with us as we journey into and through hardships. As we trust God to keep God's promises, when we're troubled, we can call upon God, and in God's wonderful way and according to God's plan, God will restore us. Are you anxious today? Take those troubles to God. Take those anxieties to God. Are you troubled? Well, take those troubles to God. Does your world seem to be crumbling around you? Well, like that old Dotson that was filled with rust holes. Seek protection from the one at the core that can't be moved. The same God that created the universe will protect you if you ask God. So ask God and know that God will be with you. Whole bottom line of this message is this. Weave the fabric of God's word through your heart and your mind and it will hold strong. It will run continuously even if the rest of life unravels. I pray that you have God at your core. And I pray that God is running smooth, even though the outer edge might seem all rusty. That's just temporary. God will get you through. That engine of God will never stop running. God bless you.